Seek mentors. Seek the experts. Seek knowledge. Try something new. Observations from my loss, my loss is a potential. You know, tonight when I go to sleep, I'm going to ask myself, did I put out a thousand percent? What about this week, this month, this year, the past year, life? And overall, when I'm on my deathbed, or in my 101 tranny uh, orgy death, <laughs> I will uh, ask myself, <clears throat> did I reach my final form? Did I, did I give it my best shot? And you know that that thing is only going to matter to me, man. That, that thing, that question. I'm trying to remember which uh, Navy SEAL it was that said uh, the one that uh, I'm fucking up the stories here. But I believe this one Navy SEAL that said that. Uh, when he goes up to the pearly gates and uh, St. Peter is uh, checking him in that he would like for him to uh, go in there, turn sideways, all beat up, bruised up, used up, and uh, just uh, him, him being living proof that uh, he got after it, that he, he made... Uh, an effective lifestyle and you know that you know that if you if you feel happy <coughs> just flipping burgers having a baby mama and doing an uber good on you mate but if you're the Uber driver that I use, or if you're the motherfucker that gives me my Big Mac combo, and you give me the face of, <sighs> wow, what can you do? That's life. You really give me this fucking, <laughs> this attitude into where I start to imagine, you know, I wonder, how blue you could turn once they start fucking strangling you. Or what sort of ways are you contaminating the world? Not just but with trash, but with your genes, your genetics. Oh man, that, that's all such a harsh thing to say. Nah, no, for me it's not. And I'm saying this on my public business channel here. Oh man, that girl was gonna hate me. I say nigger, faggot, cocksucker, big nose, greedy, Jew, gypsy, motherfucking, cockeyed, retard. And those are just words, man. Man, uh, It's a huge balance, balance between freedom of speech and uh, limiting speech because someone gets offended. And and I've traveled enough, seen enough death and violence to to put me here, speaking this tone and just be like, you know what? This is where my power is. Not just not not in this pencil or the paper, but in here and, and being effective and, and leaving a mark and uh, creating something a collection of work that is a collection of work that is going to speak for itself but I will say that it, it was people who were examples of excellence experts people who gave a fuck 
about what the fuck they did, about their character, about their reputation, and uh, they got after it, man. And again, I'm not saying that uh, if you want to flip burgers or do an Uber, just do Starbucks, work there, right? And you're happy, good, good, good. You want to be a family man or a family woman or part-time dad, part-time mom? Hey, good, awesome. But for those that are just complaining about, oh man, well they owe me this, you know, I need, um, what's it called, not artificial, um, affirmative action. Oh no, my God, it's too expensive. Or uh, they make all these other sorts of excuses. I, I I'm not, I'm not done with that shit, man. I remember seeing this one dumb nigger who was like, yeah, man, they do what it do, man. You know, I, I got it like that. You know, they respect me and this like that. And I'm thinking, you know, uh, <laughs> man, I'm thinking, oh, this fucker's showing weakness. Uh, because his words, <clears throat> His words don't ma match his action or his body language or his lifestyle. Now, me and myself, I'm not, uh, I don't have an, an ivory back scratcher. Um, I don't have uh, so much clothing and shoes that I can color coordinate everything. You know, I, I pinch my pennies. I buy what's on sale. What's on sale? Pig meat, lamb, chicken, fish, steak. That's that's what I'm, that's what I'm, what's gonna be, that's what's gonna be on the menu. <coughs> but I'll, I'll acknowledge that, and I'll, I'll work within that. I'll work within those rules, within that reality, but to say that, no man, you know what guys, I, I really, I'm tired of eating chicken, I really want to eat some shrimp, and you guys need to start a GoFundMe or a PayPal and give me this and give me that, that as if, as if you guys don't have problems or challenges or need, or are trying to save up for something, for a trip, for more equipment, for new tools for another class um, for a gift for someone who's helped you out I don't know how long the plumb is going to be we'll see I'm losing my train of thought here but <coughs> I can't wait. Honestly, my greatest drawing lesson is wasn't a technique, they were words. It was by one tattooer who had an amazing portfolio, gorgeous man. And I asked him, uh, excuse me, um, how, how did you do this? How did you get so good? And he was sitting in his chair. I think he had some papers, but but he, he like uh, he I know he slams them on there, puts his hands on the table, looks right at me, and he says something like, "Man, you gotta burn your bitches, quit everything you're doing, and just just do this, and you'll get there." And of course, I'm misquoting them, but. It was basically, you gotta give up everything else you want to do in life to do this. And, uh, the, the simple calculation was this, was just focus on it. 
<laughs> just focus on it. But uh, you know why his words stuck? Because of his collection of work, of his portfolio. His tattoos, his paintings, his shop. And uh, <coughs> it is disappointing a bit when you see all these fucking stupid pansies that call themselves men or Americans. And all these vaginas that are going to waste. <laughs> Beautiful, tight, probably very hairy vaginas that are I'm talking about the patriarchy. And, you know, there's some um, uh, cis males or white privilege or this or that. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what stupid ninja turtle are you talking about? make this um, design green. Most, most of the foundation of, of my life, of, uh, probably the most gems, was while earning this title, while serving. <coughs> and to get, to get the mission done, and it wasn't anything more about, oh, are you tired, sweetie? Oh, well, do you need a break? Oh, man, that, that seems real heavy. Oh, no. Is it past your bedtime? Um, do you need help? Uh, um, does that seem too hard for you? Um, is that too dangerous? Uh, don't, don't do that. That, that could get you killed or you may die and then the Marine Corps would simply get the mission done it wasn't done none of these other fucking um, none of these other sort of shit about life or your feelings or oh no you're gonna get a boo boo it's Complete the fucking mission, man. And, and and somewhere along the line, we've I think we've said, you, you know what? Why why head towards greatness? Why why do so much? Why why put it all on black? Why put all your bets on red? Why why put it all all on the line when? You could be mediocre, half-ass something, and just settle for um, just a job at the nuclear power plant. With um, with the union, get a nine-to-five job. Yeah, they're hiring. You know, all you gotta do is just um, be able to breathe and fill out the application. And 
you know, lately I've been focused on this, just creating, creating. If you're not about making a sale, um, buy something for me or suck in my dick. <laughs> Fuck off. Or if you're going to teach me something to increase my human capital. Because I think that I've wasted a lot of time uh, trying to make people happy. Because in doing so, I've <clears throat> I've wasted time, and to put it even in um, better words, or in, in, in the actual value, I've wasted life moments of life, time of life. Be effective, make it happen. Think of what I've heard many times in life, and what I've even heard of these fucking um, I think it's a TLC channel. Uh, my 600 pound life, and these fat bitches are saying shit like, uh, "Well, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best, I'm trying to work hard, or I am working hard." And I thought, you know the. I wonder if the Marine Corps, if Special Forces says, you know, we're working hard over here, or if instead they started using words like, get it done, this is the mission, get it done, instead of just giving some feedback and saying, you know, we're doing our best over here, or is it mission failed or is it mission accomplished? <coughs> Another belief that I was brought up with was that uh, you know all, all you need to do in life is get married and this is either uh, told to me or shown by um, people that were just married and uh, who just sat at home watching television but also you know all you need to do is just <coughs> is just get married have a kid or have to uh, retire and then you can go travel the world and I was like what the fuck really yeah. that's it that's um that's the final stage that's the that's the final boss that's that's it I would hear that it it would be disempowering to me because I'd be like wow really that's it. I think well, I would think of um, you know buried treasure, uh, unknown lands, uh, risking your life, uh, fucking going to fucking jungles across different parts of the world. <coughs> um. Having a victory lap, a victory dance, a victory party, man. But now people say, yo, oh, you know, you just gotta have a wife and kids, and you know, you could always just watch everyone else live on the YouTube. Or you could just have a director make a documentary, and you know, you'll just, you'll just see it on, on a Disney movie. And uh, for a lot of people, that's okay, and hey, and if that's okay with you, hey, hey good on you, mate, but. No, man, I'm not buying that. And, uh... <clears throat> I am the way that I am. I've been to where I've been through, and I've overcome what I've done, because... Yes, it was my own actions, my own willpower, but... Man, if, if I didn't, um... 
see the um, the trail the footprints I didn't see the trail made from the view foot I didn't see the trail made from the from the scarce foot trips of those that have tried or have done or completed um, great task <coughs> on their own journeys or simply just um, seeing that it was possible I don't know I don't know if I would have if I would have had so much doubt in me into not doing something because uh, no doubt what I grew up with who my teachers were my bloodline were <laughs> a bunch of weenies oh well that's not right for you to say who the, that's not nice for you to say about this that's not a nice thing to say about them oh man and I think by me critiquing um, my own past Yeah, yes, I do wonder how much potential I've uh, squandered, flushed down the drain, overlooked, threw away, uh, um, let it uh, go off on a train, or um, just uh, let it um, wither away, or let 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 its opportunity of manifestation just not be executed on. And I think this topic is, it's uncomfortable for a lot of people because everyone will say, oh no, well, well I had dad number one, my mom was the best, my brother, my big brother, my big sister, my aunties, my uncles, my grandpa, my grandfather fought in World War II. You know, you know, um, And I, I'm thinking of one of my mentors who, man, this guy's incredible. His wife is awesome, and I don't doubt that uh, his son will become anything that the son desires to be. He's got the, the mental armory to make it happen. But uh, this dude told me how, you know, there's people that even he's related to that, in theory, oh, it's family. It's no, they're spiraling downhill. Uh, turn your back on them. That, that's what you've got to do. And, <clears throat> and I believe the way that he summed up uh, a lot of his insight was sometimes you have to let go to hold on. And if you knew this guy, he'd be, he'd be, I know I was impressed by his uh, him hitting rock bottom, being at a point in life that uh, he almost uh, lost his uh, use of his legs. You know, now this motherfucker can outrun me, outbench me, fucking. Fucking super strength, man. But, but it's a reflection of, of, of his mental strength. And, uh, again, I like to keep my privacy, but I also think of. <coughs> a friend of mine that. Gets after it and his resume, his accomplishments are, man, <laughs> they're comical because they're, um, in some cases, uh, 
Some of them are distributed worldwide. But it's comical because uh, this formula is simple. Just just get, get after it. Make it happen. Uh, make it happen. No excuses. That that's it. And, and I know it sounds. Uh, well, you mean that works for anything? Or how do I get big muscles? Or how do I start this business? Or how do I get more clients? <laughs> you knock on doors. You lift a weight. You start that. You start doing. Start knocking at door number one. You start lifting at five pounds. You start knocking at door number two. You walk down the street. You walk across the street. Knock on another door. Go to another zip code. Knock on those doors. Go to another city. Knock on those doors. All right. Once you're done with five pounds, then you go to ten pounds and 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 to me, what I was taught, especially throughout. Elementary school, junior high, high school. Um, those that call themselves men, family, and friends. Yeah, man, you just gotta do your best. What if my best is simply, oh, I'm just gonna knock on 10 doors today. Well, I'm just gonna lift 20 pounds. That's it. That's my best. You think that's gonna. That's gonna. think that that'll be as effective against someone else who's knocking on 20, 30, 50, 100 doors a day. Someone who's lifting 20 pounds, but, or 25 pounds or 30 pounds up to the point of collapse. I don't know your fucking living situation if you're out there in the boonies, in the sticks, in the middle of potato country, in the favela, in the ghetto. But I do recommend you go out for a walk. And for legal reasons, you know, make sure it's safe and sound. You wear light colored, light colored clothing. You do it during the daylight and you look both ways. And so you don't sue me that you, you just sprained your ankle down the street. You know, that, that you ask yourself, you know, what do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Who knows about this stuff? Who doesn't know about this stuff? Who's uh, teaching me doubt? <clears throat> because it's one thing someone that could teach you how to use this tool, use a technique, learn a technique. Um, and there's also people that are showing you or telling you, nah, don't go for that, man. Just stay here, work on the farm, work in the hood, work here with my union. Um, what do you want to do that for? I've seen this enough times, man, to to warn you, man. Like, again, look, it's fuck your life. I, don't, I really don't give a shit about it. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. But I don't want to, again, I don't want to encounter you with you being one of these punk bitches begging my groceries. Man, life sucks, man. Uh, Cause I'm in service is hell. When, uh, <laughs> when I gave you my formula to execute, man. And I seen so many dumb fucks. Oh well, I gotta keep my uh, high school friends um, close and like make them happy and smoke weed and go to their birthday parties and go to the barbecues and get this and that done. Imagine if I was to say, "Oh shit, I have to go to that, um, to that, to that party." Oh, it's gotta end it here. I'm gonna say, go to that baby shower. Gotta go. Oh man, my homies wanna go to the bar. Let's go. Versus, hey, this bitch is about to suck my dick and jack me off and eat my asshole. I'll be back in an hour or two. Call it quits. Or um, I'm gonna have a drink with a client who uh, wants to get uh, this deal done. 
buy this mini shirt, get this tattoo, get this design. I'll be back. Get after it, motherfuckers. But yeah, wherever you're at, man, just Yes, seek the mentors, but you know, also be aware of, of you uh, letting go about uh, letting go of, of thoughts or, or the mentality or, or the mindset from people that or information or beliefs that will also um, keep you from absorbing or applying uh, new or better information I'm trying to think of um, of a belief of um, that's common something about being liked you gotta respect me respect your elders I should be refined more. If my memory's about to be full and my battery's dying. Quick glimpses. Respect. To give someone respect, I believe it's, it's, it needs to be earned. But I do believe that one could easily be respectful of others. No, I'm not gonna fucking pull my dick out and scratch my left testicle. Or, um,. Fart right uh, next to you on in the car, on the bus, on the train, in an airplane. I'll try to hold it as much as I can if you're minding your own business and or um, fucking I have a few more seconds on here, but um, I'm losing my train of thought too. I just remember seeing, uh, I remember seeing this one motherfucker, old man, probably doesn't give a fuck, the shit in his pants. <laughs> Friend of everyone, I'm thinking, that this guy just does not give a fuck, but man, I can't fucking, um, break his fucking nose, because too many fucking witnesses here.